Hi guys, welcome to Cook with Noor. Today we will make yummy chicken kebabs and for that we need about 2 tablespoons of ginger garlic paste and about 1 kilogram of chicken, 1 egg, 1, cum, uh, one cup of dal chana, 1 whole onion, 2 tablespoons or about 1 tablespoon of zira and 10 black peppers, 2 bay leaves, 8 whole red chilies and one tablespoon of red chili powder and I will also add one tablespoon of salt to taste and then we will use two tablespoon of corn flour so let's get started all right now it's time to add about four glasses of water and in that I am adding my soaked dal chana I soak it about 10 minutes you can soak it for one hour or two hours or so it will work good all right after adding my dal chana i will add chicken these are about seven breasts chicken breasts and um yeah i'm adding them in my boiling mixture so we have to boil them properly i am not using cooker I am using a pot to boil because it is a chicken and chicken does not take lots of time to boil but the dal chana takes lots of time to boil. It's okay, we can wait. Alright, now it is the time to add all of these ingredients. Uh, one big onion. Three to four garlic cloves, bay leaf, cumin seeds, black pepper, and long, three to four long, and red chili powder. Yes. Now I will add about two tablespoons of ginger garlic paste in it. Boil for about two hours. All right, now we have to put the lid on after 20 to 25 minutes and make sure to lower your heat for about for up to minimum and let them cook. Another one and a half hour of cooking. This is how our chicken and dal chana is ready for next step and it is totally dry and now i will add salt and one egg i have already whisked this egg and i'm adding it and i am adding two tablespoon of corn flour in it And I'm adding one tablespoon of salt. And I'm mixing it. And then I will add my mixture in my food processor. Then I will process these. chicken and dal chana into my food processor Alright, I am using Black and Decker food processor. I love this food processor. This video is not sponsored. I'm just sharing my experience that this processor is a very good processor. Uh, in case you want to make kebabs, this processor is very good for grinding your uh, keema and all the ingredients. So I am using this and 
let's continue our step of making chicken kebab so let's do it Alright guys, now I am using water, a little bit of water to wet my hands and I will mix this mixture a little bit with my hands first and then I will make kebab and freeze them and we can use this kebab for about a month. ready to go inside the freezer for freezing so yes I'm freezing them all right guys this is day two and I am going to fry these kebabs they are frozen and they're ready to fry and I already heat up my pan and let's fry them Alright guys, this is the final look of our chicken kebabs and make sure to try this dish and don't forget to subscribe my channel. Take care. Bye.